And this is what we'll be making in this video. So watch till the end to learn how to make it yourself. Hi, in this video, you're going to learn how to change the navbar background color when the user scrolls down. Right now, the color remains the same, the navbar is fixed to the top. But in some websites, you may see like the color changes when you scroll down. This is a bit abrupt. Uh, in this website, it changes smoothly, but it changes. So how do we do that? First of all, I'm using a bootstrap 4. So you can use CDNs so that you can directly include these in your code. So I have a sample website set up here. So this is I this is quite simple. I have a nav bar. I have a jumbotron and I have some sample text here. And for using bootstrap, you should include the CSS at the top in the head and uh, at the bottom the script tags will come like first the jquery, then the popper js, then the bootstrap file itself. So once you have bootstrap or any uh, like framework you use for CSS. Now here is another uh, external style sheet. .bg is the class which I am which I have assigned it to the nav tag. So this is the color that I have assigned uh, which is this one. So how do we make it change on scroll? So for this we can't do it using CSS alone. There is a very simple way by which you can do this and that is by using jQuery. It's a very simple script. So we open the script tag and we go window. This is the selector, the dollar sign, window dot scroll. So when the window scrolls, we want to do function. And when the window scrolls, okay, this is a semicolon, this function will be executed. So we want to select our nav bar. This is the nav tag. The, the, the class is navbar and all this, but the tag is nav. So we select the nav tag and we do dot toggle class. So in this toggle class, it takes two components, two arguments. The first one is the class name. Now for me, there is bg and bg dot scrolled. So we want to add the dot scrolled when uh, we actually scroll down the web page so i'll just pass scrolled here you can use anything other than the scrolled appended to this but i'm using this now the second argument is the a boolean value which is not directly true or false but it is a uh, it changes so here we specify when we want to like change the background color for example in my website i want to change it just after like it has scrolled once or twice so like here we scroll once and the background changes here we scroll once the background changes this is what i want to do so you can make it happen at any other point so for that we need to do this dot scroll top this is a function is greater than and then we enter the pixels like how much pixels we have scrolled like if i put 100 then let's see if it works if i scroll 100 down see it has changed if i scroll up again then it will again return back to normal so this is light blue no right now this is now dark bluish sort of so but i wanted to like change just after i have scrolled a bit so i'll set it to 50 pixels 50 pixels seems nice and then if I yes if I scroll just a bit once it changes but this is too abrupt even in this website it is too abrupt in this website it is smooth so we can do this by going to our style class and this is the main uh, what you can say the class before the scroll in this we add transition uh, let's say 0 0.5 seconds and the type will be ease yes ease so when we do this and refresh 
we should now have a smooth transition. You can see, I, I think I should um, change the scrolled background to a much darker one. Let's see this. One. So if I refresh and then, yes, this is a good color. So now you can see it is going more smoothly now. The background changes more smoothly and with uh, the right amount of pixels, I have assigned 50, you can assign 500 or whatever you want. With the right amount of pixels, we can uh, make this happen whenever we want. And we can also change the text color by going into the scrolled class and we can change anything we want. But mainly this was for the background and it looks amazing. So yes, now you have a professional background change of the nav bar. Uh, don't do this. Don't abruptly change it do make some uh, have some transition in there it looks nice okay so thank you for watching this video i hope it was like it helped you i hope it helped you it was amazing when i discovered how simple it was with just this css and only this much jquery so just rem remember this if you want or learn uh, if you know jquery you will understand it any anyways so yeah, thank you for watching.